Coach Russ with Uncommon Ministries. Uh, wanted to share with you today uh, a letter I got from uh, one of my pastors, Pastor Darius Daniels. And uh, you ever have one of those things where they send you the email and they send the same one to everybody, but they just change your name on it? I like to pretend it was personally directed to me, even though more than likely 100% that it wasn't. So um, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Maybe you get the same letters and, and don't think that I'm crazy as that may sound. The, uh, and the letter I want to read to you, though, because it really caught my attention. And I felt like, man, I should share this. Uh, so many people, I think, struggle with this. It says, Russ, that's me. That's my name. So he was talking to me. He said, Russ, I had to drop everything and share something I got from a friend. My friend shared a section of this book with me, and I knew why they shared it at this moment when I saw the title of the section. Get this. It said, Failure to Thrive. Failure to Thrive. If you didn't know this about me, my life's philosophy is to live by thriving. When I read this section, I was reminded of the importance of the way, the importance of that way of life. I'm meant to do more than survive or sink, and you are too. You are too. As I read, the author began touching upon the most prevalent mental health problem of our day. When I read that, I'm thinking, yeah, anxiety, depression. What is it? He said the most. That's not it. He says you're most likely thinking anxiety or depression. They went somewhere I didn't expect them to go. And they said that the problem is failure to thrive. And that word is called or languishing, languishing. Make sure you get what, what I'm about to say. Languishing is the condition in which a functional individual has lost sense of hope and their meaning. I, I'll read it again. Languishing is the condition in which a functional individual has lost their sense of hope and meaning. The absence of mental and emotional vitality comes from being overwhelmed or overloaded, as we usually are in every day, in everyday life. Understanding that languishing is normal, and many of us experience, even though it's normal, it doesn't have to be your normal. All right, we shouldn't accept it as a rule of our lives. We should strive to thrive. I always say, and Pastor Darius does too, I'm going to go, I'm going to grow until I go. Okay, now I'm not saying that we should always be on the highest level of life, but is it possible to experience that most of the time that we can be on our highest level? I believe so. I'm seeing it in my own life as last year. Um, after all, thriving should be the rule and not the exception. And you can avoid the languishing of overload and being overwhelmed by using the following four keys. There's four keys he gave me. He said evaluation. So Russ, evaluate your priorities. Okay. When your priorities are clear, your decisions are much easier. Okay. Well, how do I, prior how do I evaluate them? Number two was prioritization. Okay. Not just making a list of your priorities, but scheduling the priorities, putting those priorities in uh, in your day somehow. I use uh, notes. I use uh, my calendar on my phone. I take my calendar. And if it's a priority for me, I put it in there and, and, and put it on my calendar. And it repeats every day until I've got the task done. And then I get to go delete it. I'm on my desk now. I've got two different um I, I guess, models or displays of a schedule of priorities sitting right here in front of me. So when I come down here and, and sit at my desk or work every day, I see those priorities in front of me. I've done it in the past where one's on my mirror in my bathroom, things that I want to keep in check, remind ourselves, prioritize these things. The other thing is elimination. Elimination, remove anything that is no longer a priority or suitable for you in this season. Right, and know that these can change from season to season. Some seasons, God's going to call you to do this. So, um, in the past, God called me to work more with people in addiction right, and, and trying to help people out of that hole. Now it's more post-addiction, uh, more life coaching. Um, to be honest, if I can be real with you for a minute, I don't remember what it was like to be um, in addiction because I have focused so strongly, so strongly on thriving in this past year of my life. That, uh, yeah, I still keep, do my steps and, and my things that I need to make sure I don't fall in that. I never want to get so comfortable that I think, oh, no, I'm not, you know, I don't battle or I didn't never battle with this. Just like anything in our life. Um, be aware of it, but don't dwell in it. Don't dwell in it. Don't carry that label with you. Don't carry a label of what you once were. You're not that anymore. Remember how our God that heals all diseases? If it's healed, that means it's gone. All right? The last thing here is organization. All right. Once you eliminate these things, organize them. Be intentional about organization, organizing and reorganizing your life based on the season you're currently in. That changes. Some things you used last season may not be what you used this season. Or you can get pieces, get the meat 
I get the meat off the bone and then keep that with you for whatever season that you're in right now. As a spiritual leader and coach, I can tell you that many people I serve won't use the word thrive to describe the majority of their life. I can't stress enough that we can change this. We can change that. And you can use the word thrive almost every day. Even when it seems, you know, how we always hear that, hey, if God's not moving, he's moving. All right, if God's moving, he's moving. Same thing with thriving. Even if it doesn't feel like a day we're thriving, because we are, because of that compound effect of applying these little tiny things and these tools that can help you go step by step by step, you continue to elevate. All right, that elevation continues to climb. Um, we can overcome languishing and strive for a life of thriving. We can hope, we can find hope and meaning in life with mental and emotional vitality. So today, I want to encourage you to choose to thrive. Don't just survive. Don't just get by. Don't just be normal. Be uncommon. All right. God has more for you than that. All right. Find your purpose. Seek your joy. Live with enthusiasm to thrive in area, every area in your life. Um, I believe in you and know that you can live a thriving life. And then Pastor Darius, you know, I kind of paraphrased the letter, signs it. Blessings, Dr. Darius Daniels. That's my brother, man. God, I love him. Um, he's been so helpful for me in my life. So uh, if this information was helpful, please visit our YouTube page and subscribe at Uncommon Dash Ministries uh, for more transformational videos to get you thriving for God's purpose in your life. So he wants you thriving and God wants you fulfilled. He wants you happy. I want you that way. God bless you. And I hope you have the greatest weekend. I'm about to go see the Braves tonight at seven o'clock, play the White Sox. My first Braves game in, uh, what is it, Truist Park, maybe? Um, so I'm excited about that. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Love you.